Alrighty, here's another quickie. This will hopefully make your life a lot easier, especially doing larger bases for armor and stuff like that. You like really good detail, so do I. Uh, remember the, the, the blades that I work with, Remember I told you to keep a hold of your ex, your your older blades. You can sharpen these up using a sharpening stone, but once you're done with them, hang on to these things. This is why. Remember I told you, styrofoam has a memory, and instead of carving all this out, take the back of that blade. Take the back of that blade and imprint that foam. What that does, you'll just take that blade and you just run it back and forth like that over and over and over, all the way down. Um, as you can see, I've already I've already got some started here, but you take that blade and you stick it in there and you just roll it back and forth like that. Look at that. It m makes an imprint. And remember, styrofoam has a memory. What you can do is you can take that other blade and you can come back over with the back side of it and spread your lines out and just rock that blade back and forth. Back and forth. Not too much, just back and forth. That'll spread those lines out where you have a well-defined line. And then you take your smaller blade, same thing, back side. And I extend the blades out to give it a little bit of flexibility because when you, uh, when you uh, come down here and uh, put your uh, grout line in there, spread it out, work it around. See, look at that, boom. This makes doing brick so much easier and again it'll save you hours and hours and hours from carving everything out and like I said this way and maybe turn it this way that'll round out those corners look at that that just took me just a half a minute to do and if you know anything about brickwork you know how to do all your lines and you can do the uh, the semicircles you can do anything with this stuff anyway but uh that's just imprints there. That's none of that's cut. Now you know you may want to go in there and cut a few and and, and dip the brick down because uh, if you drop a couple of bricks down, it adds a, a little realistic. Anyway, but uh, that's all imprint work there, and of, of course not the not the rubble. But I'll come back and show you how to do the rubble and the the, the tiger tracks and whatever. But anyway, but the brick work here that'll take hours hours and hours to do. But if you do the imprint thing with your blades here, man, that just takes me just a few minutes to get all the way up the street, round them out, cut a few out, whatever, and prime it. Two or three coats, fill in that. It, it, it's perfect. Looks pretty good. Anyway, but uh, try it out. Practice, practice.